I went to MIT for undergraduate work, then the University of Maryland for graduate work, and then as soon as I got my PhD, I came to CSU, and I have loved it here ever since. After a few years here, I met Mary Goldrick here on campus, and we've now been married 40 years, and I was really, really lucky to get the job here. I think I got it because I already had a book contract when I was in grad school, The Flying Circus of Physics, so I kind of stood out as somebody who might know how to teach. One of my fondest memories here at Cleveland State, well, this happens a lot. Somebody comes to the door, it's a grown-up, bringing um, somebody probably 18 years old, says, this is Gerald, this is the Gerald I told you about. And it was the person's son or daughter who was starting CSU right then. And they had already been filled with stories about me, and that really makes me feel great. And I think it's about three or four years from now, the, there's mathematically a possibility of great grandparents in my class. I try to go in and be lively and engage them and be aware of their shortcomings and their successes. I'm kind of like a cheerleader. Yes, please, go ahead and do this. Yes, you can do it. Oh, you did much better this time. Let's try it again this week. When I heard the news about the being honored for the time here, I said, what? No, let me do the math. And I did the math. and. Oh my gosh, it's been half a century. The time has gone by in a flash. I think it's a relativistic effect. I feel like I, w I came here 51 years ago, but that was maybe three years ago. And all of a sudden now, 51 years? Wow. For the next 51 years I'm gonna be here, what I'm looking forward to is meeting the students, getting to know them, learning their stories, their life stories. And I learn about their backgrounds, their families, their jobs, their ambitions. I really enjoy that. So. Yes, I want to keep doing that. I don't want to sit home retired. I want to keep learning.